all set up. We are going to see who wants to sell their storage facility. Um, another new data genre that I've never done. Before. Um, you know, after I did the uh, gas stations live, and you know, now we're drumming up all this other business, and we actually have a friend in Colorado um, who's looking to purchase a storage facility. Um, he's already closing on one. He wants to get one more or 15 more, whatever that looks like, right? Um, so we went to work on what we should do. And he had a pretty specific idea of where he wanted to make a purchase. So, you know, if you look at the United States, right, he had separated the map on where he wanted to purchase the store. And, you know, he had this great idea. He's like, hey, you know, do you think dialing would work for me? You know, the way that we were able to pair up some of the gas stations and stuff. And so I'm like, you know what? I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> I, I'm game. So we uh, two days ago, what was it on Saturday, um, sent over, you know, a list of 300. I was able to get, let me see here. I'm pulling it up on Mojo right now. I have it all labeled in Mojo. Um, let me see. There is 60 phone numbers. So we're just going to go for it. Um, but yeah, I was trying to write a script and I'm like, well, you know, how different is this from, you know, anything else that we do, you know, introduce myself and, you know, Hey, uh, we're looking for someone that's wanting to sell their gas station, right? Um, you do the right value proposition and should be able to close for the appointment. I use the Mojo triple line dialer. Um, and this list literally, um, you know, they actually put together using Google. And then I did reverse lookup to find some contact information. And, you know, it, the interesting thing is that with my data polls, I'm able to, to take, you know, anything listed as a storage facility nationally and get it. But a lot of times you get the LLC phone number or you get a business phone number or what used to be associated with the address, but maybe not the storage facility. So, so we have the caller ID on. And let's see here. I'm gonna call the list from top to bottom. One of the really cool things about the Mojo Dialer guys is you can totally program their filters. You don't have to separate everybody that you dialed on their list, all right? You're able to um, like micro sort it on um, you know who you've attempted, only call people that you've never dialed, all that stuff. Uh, most people don't know that about the Mojo Dialer, but uh, it's very possible. So now it's registered as 41 entries that I can dial out of um, so some of them might not have been registered as valid phone numbers. I'll definitely take a look at that. But there's 41 with the gas station. We only got through five. So I think we're doing good here. It's going to ask me to connect into the dialer. Here we go. All right. 603-792. 7369. Speaker phone. Oh, this is so exciting. All right. Oh. oh, what's that? It says share to groups. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice the dialing live dashboard. This is pretty cool. Your live video will be shared to the groups you select Goodbye. the next time you go on live producer. Very cool. All right, I gotta get a new phone number for live or for the power dialer. Okay, I was trying to get there before closing time. I think I got 30 minutes, so. Well, storage units are what, open till 9, 10 o'clock at night, right? Okay, 603 792. 8666. Six, six, six. Please enter your PIN number. Your PIN number can be found in the dialing box on your screen. You are now logged into the Mojo Dialer. All right. On your screen to begin calling. Start. Here we go. I did the single line dialer. All right. Ridgeway Self Storage is the first one. Hello, you've reached the area best management emergency line. You've reached the south side of business hours. If you are a current mm -hmm. tenant with a maintenance emergency, 
Please press 1 now and you will be transferred to our after hours emergency dispatch. If your call is not urgent, please call back during normal business hours and we will be happy to assist you at that time. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and we do close for lunch on those days from 12 to 1. All right, we're going to go for the next one. I'm going to be super pissed if I miss this by 30 minutes. All right, 550 self-storage. Let's see. Hello, 550 storage. Hi, yeah. Is the owner or manager available? This is she. Oh, hi. Um, my name's Alita. I'm calling on behalf of uh, Corey Calvin with EXP Real Estate. Um, just want to give you a quick call in regards to your storage facility. Um, you know, we've been working with investors to, um, you know, see who may want to sell their storage facility, um, you know, sooner down the road and just want to open up a conversation with you. We are not interested, but thank you so much. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't suppose you know of anybody um, in or out of state that might have an interest in, uh, you know, selling or even or purchasing another one. I don't. My husband and I are independent operators with no idea, so I just know we're never selling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's awesome. Um, we, uh, do you guys have any other investments that you're interested in that, um, you know, you've been wanting to add to your portfolio or get into? Nope. This is it for us. Okay, great. No, I love that. I can appreciate that. And, I, you know, we've really found, you know, that unless, you know, families are in a hardship or something like that, you know, this is where you want to be. and. You know, I love it. There's, you know, no fault on that. I'm self-employed too, so, <laughs> you know, I uh, I get that for sure. Um, would I be able to um, potentially just uh, keep you on our email list in case something came up down the road or you heard of somebody? Uh, I don't spam or anything. It's just one email, you know, once a year and um, just to keep it relevant. But what's a good email address for you? Uh, we're not interested, but thank you so much. You no, know, not a problem at all. Storage owners are ruthless. <laughs> All right. Um, never interested in selling. Um, I love that we know now that they're self-owned. That's very cool. So self-owned um, with husband. And, you know, a lot of people looking at this, they're like, that is such a waste of time. Oh, my God, I'd never want to be uncomfortable in that situation. And I'm literally looking at it as I have the number to the owner, I have their address, I have confirmed the name of it, and that she owns it with her husband, all right? Um, these are the type of, of contacts and pieces of data that you want when you're going to do any type of mailers or anything like that. You know, our market right now, self-storage is huge. Everybody wants self-storage. But just like in the commercial market, in the residential market, when there's highs, there's lows for other people. And when there's lows, there's highs for other people. So um, this is going to be one of those, since it's a long-term plan, that uh, you know we're just going to keep in our database of, of good name, good number, um, accurate uh, business information. So I, I don't see it as a total loss uh, at all. Let's go to the next one. I think my intro is really lengthy too. So let's see this one. This one is Catherine or Rulon Stacy, and they have a different mailing address. Let's see what address they're. Okay, Riverside Drive Estate. Let's see here. Hi, this is Rulon. You've reached my voice now. Please leave a message. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Rulin. My name is Alita. I'm calling on behalf of my uh, local investor, Corey Calvin, and we just wanted to give you a call in regards to your investment. Uh, we weren't sure if you had any interest um, currently or in the future of wanting to um, sell any of your businesses, uh, most especially self-storage, or add to them. Uh, you can give us a call back at 303-304-1166 just to really talk about your short-term or long-term plan. 
and, and or if you have any friends you know that are uh, looking to do that as well uh, thank you so much enjoy your evening all right so when I left a message with that gas station Kimberly she called back <laughs> just want to make it known Kimberly called back okay so we definitely know that this phone number is ruling uh, let me go ahead and edit this real quick And it looks on here that it's supposed, it's pronounced Rulon. And I'm just gonna put a pronunciation in there so uh, everybody knows that it's Rulon. Especially me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next phone number uh, and just see if maybe I can get Catherine or, or Rulon or somebody, you know, on there. And I did Google that address. We got Manafort self storage. So, when it was ran through um, reverse lookup, we just got the owner's names. And they have two different addresses. They have one in Minnesota and one in Colorado. Um, and we also have an email. So that's kind of cool. We have a, a Stacy email. So. I can't type and hold my crutch at the same time. This is <sighs> handicap issues. Your call is forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine. Zero, two, nine, I'm gonna leave a message for Catherine too. Seven, one is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or I'll leave a different voicemail too. Options. Hi, Miss Stacy. My name's Alita. I'm calling on behalf of um, one of my private investors, and we had an interest in your Manford Plaza self storage. I'm not sure if uh, you're still the current owner or if you have any interest in the property, but uh, if you guys have any short term or long term plans to potentially want to um, sell or liquidate any of your assets, um, we'd be interested in opening up the conversation with you. Uh, and then again, if you know anybody in your industry as well that um, may want to sell. So uh, the best phone number to reach us directly at is 303-304-1166. Uh, this is our direct phone number and um, you can give a call anytime this evening or tomorrow. We look forward to hearing from you and hope you're having a great evening. Bye. -bye. All right, so a little bit of a different voicemail. We'll see which one kind of gets their attention, right? So this one is a storage place and We'll see, we got two phone numbers. Thank you for calling a storage place, Grand Junction East, Colorado's finest self storage. Office hours are 8.30 to 5.30, Monday through Saturday, and 10 to 5 on Sundays. We are closed major holiday. If you have reached this message during those hours, we are busy assisting another customer. Please leave a message and we will call you back. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, simply hang up or press pound for further options. Hi there, I was hoping to speak with Daniel Willis um, or the owner of A Storage Place. If you could give us a quick call back, 815-278-0284, uh, or you can also reach us, in, just in case you get a voicemail, 303-304-1166. Uh, Hope you're having a great night, bye. That one's gonna be a little bit tricky if they call back. I was actually debating leaving them a voicemail or not because I didn't even talk to them. Um, and I didn't leave a we want to buy you message because I don't know if they have employees checking it. So sometimes if you put that out there, it kind of disrupts the, you know, the employee status quo. So I tend to not do that with some of the employee where they could have employees. Let me just put on your left message. All right. Say, move for me, move for me, move for me, yeah. 